I would like to make a small pitch for my dear friend Mark Epstein and my admired colleague uh, in his latest book called Advice Not Given, A Guide to Getting Over Yourself, which I think is a great subtitle. And the title means that as a therapist, which he is, he has over the years wanted to tell clients, patients, something at different points, but then felt that they weren't really up for it. It might feel like it was an intrusion from Buddhism on their therapeutic process. And so he hadn't given that advice to them, which he kind of regretted, but you know, he had his sense of professional ethics and courtesy and hadn't done so. So here he gives it in general just to everybody, and it's really fun. And I was just going to read a little thing here, which is very, I just opened by random to the chapter two, which is called Right Motivation, which is um, translating the uh, Samyak Samkalpa, uh, which means, um, which means, right, you know, real, I consider it, I call it realistic motivation, but correct motivation, a, a, an intelligent and proper motivation. And uh, he says, he, I will read, he says, Right motivation suggests that we do not have to be at the mercy of our neuroses if we do not want to be. The conscious mind, when properly oriented, can, with practice, rise above the conditioning of its subconscious influences and intentionally direct a person's activity. More often than not, as therapists know all too well, we are run by impulses we cannot see. Habitual and repetitive patterns of reactivity dominate the untrained mind. Buddhism, practical as always, takes this as a given, but says it is only a starting point. We can shake free of our unconscious influences if we first admit they are there, if we can find and identify them over and over again as they appear in our day-to-day -day lives. Right motivation encourages us to come out from our hiding places to use our powers of observation for our own good and to be real with ourselves. It goes on like that, really, really good. You know, advice not given by Mark Epstein, a guide to getting over yourself. And that particular passage, which I just opened to by accident, is uh, actually a very deep one in relation to Buddhism. And Mark is one of the very few, I think, in the sort of secular psychoanalytic community who kind of gets the depth of the depth psychology of Buddhism. Because remember that most people think who are within the Freudian model of the, of the conscious and the unconscious, that in principle the unconscious always remains unconscious. And that, you know, you can only get what pops up out of it, you know, and you still it will always be unconscious. But here he's pushing that boundary by saying, you can get in there and take a look and identify and then not be influenced by these, these reactive impulses that come from the unconscious by actually going and making conscious the unconscious. And this is something that I understood not that long ago in thinking about Buddhist psychology as a psychology. A big difference with Western, modern Western psychology and Buddhist psychology is that the Buddhist psychology knows about the unconscious thousands of years before Freud and Jung and company, but it doesn't feel that it needs to remain always unconscious. And even they consider that it's bad to leave it unconscious, for when you die, you'll be driven by those impulses and you won't have your conscious, your previous habitual conscious mind, coarse conscious mind, you know, conceptual conscious mind to sort of redirect things. So therefore, it, the, the purpose of life actually is to become fully conscious of all your energies and have no unconscious. A Buddha is defined, an awake person is defined as a person who is not unconscious about anything about themselves. They're totally aware of their good side, their bad side, and they therefore can choose always and, and turn even the energies that used to be co-opted by the bad side into the good side in the highest levels. And uh, of course, that's a very, very far uh, goal. It's like you don't even have an autonomic nervous system anymore. Everything is conscious choice. And you're able to live like that if you're an awake, fully awake person. And Mark is not really suggesting that for people, but he's just, he's pushing into that boundary automatically because although he grows up in the Freudian world and he operates professionally within it, he has this, deeper Buddhist psychology bubbling up within him, which is what makes his work so totally great. 
And so I can't uh, recommend in strong enough positive terms, Advice Not Given, A Guide to Getting Over Yourself by Dr. Mark Epstein, my buddy. Okay? This video book recommendation was recorded February 1st, 2018 in Woodstock, New York.